So the 49ers didn't win. And how does that make you feel? I'm an okay three short from normal Lloyd Kinsey the third. If it doesn't challenge you, it doesn't change you. That's the premises of these videos. And today I want to talk about the 49ers. I want to talk about the Super Bowl more importantly. And I want to talk about your emotional state based off of how you feel from this Super Bowl. So, it's Monday, good morning, and um, it's 6.56 in the morning. Just dropped off Baby J, heading back to the house. And uh, if you haven't checked it out already, we have a show called Project Entrepreneur. And it's all about family, cars, fitness, entrepreneurship. You know, highlight a bunch of those various different topics. This week's episode's live, but let's go ahead and get into the subject matter. So, this is the thing. Now, do you feel happy sad, disappointed, what kind of emotions are going through your mind right now when you think about the 49ers losing, and more importantly, if you actually care for the 49ers as like a team that you love, and a team that you thought that was going to win the Super Bowl this year, because this is the thing. Now, if you're someone that's very emotionally distraught by the outcome of the 49ers not winning, now you're saying it's Monday, God damn it, it's Monday and the 49ers didn't win and now the rest of your day is going to be filled about how the Niners didn't win and how this play and that play and how everything played out and how this happened and that happened this way or that way, it would have come up with a completely different outcome. The Niners would have won and you would have been a lot happier than potentially you are now. Does that sound familiar? Or are you someone that says, hey, I don't really care. Whatever, the Niners didn't win, not a big deal. You know, I like the Niners, you know, I, I would have preferred them to win, but guess what? C'est la vie, better luck next time. You know, next year, hopefully they win, okay? What side are you on? Because if you're on the side of like, it's the case of the Mondays and the Niners didn't win and yada, 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 yada. And you're talking of the sense of like, life is happening to you, not for you, and now you're upset you may want to look internally inside yourself and ask yourself some questions about who are you dating? Where are you working? What do you do on a daily basis? Do you work out? Do you meditate? Do you have a goal? Do you have aspirations? Do you know where you want to go in your life? And are you fulfilled? And on the other end, if you're like, whatever, they didn't win, it is what it is, say la vie, hopefully they'll win next year, then you probably already have a job that you like, or you have your own company, you work out, you meditate, you know your, you know where you wanna go, and you have a vision and a path for the future, right? And I'm not saying either one's right or either one's wrong, I just wanna put things in perspective that if the, if the Super Bowl dictated the outcome of your mental state for today and potentially this week because they didn't win and you had money on the game and all these other things and now it's like this is ridiculous and now you have to wait a whole nother year for them to potentially win again then maybe you want to do some self-reflection and ask yourself some questions why is sports dictating the outcome of your emotional state at that level are sports really going to be something that's gonna give you wealth, prosperity, happiness, you know, um, really gonna help you achieve your goals in the future? Because sport is a game, right? It's supposed to entertain us. And if it entertains you, and it's say la vie, better luck next year, fantastic. You already know what I'm talking about. This video is gonna be more towards someone that really is maybe a little, um, what's a word that I could use as polite as possible? a little less fortunate, a little less um, um, goal-oriented, a little less um, happy with their life. This is intention and this video is intended to help you, support you, and put things in perspective. Because if it doesn't challenge you, it doesn't change you, and whatever your mind can conceive and believe, it can achieve. So hence, depending on where you're at and how you feel, and that outcome of your day or week because of them losing is all dictated based off your feelings, your emotion, and your goals, your aspirations, and where you intend to be in the future, right? Instead of just being like, yeah, it's, it is what it is, I don't really care. I'm gonna give you an example. Yesterday we did a photo shoot, Reds did a photo shoot. We're gonna highlight a little bit of that in this week's episode. Next week's episode, we're gonna highlight the whole entire shoot. 
give you some more insight. You probably saw it on my Insta story if you follow me on Instagram. And this is the caveat. I was just like, honey, are you gonna like, seriously, like, oh, she's calling me. I was like, I was like, honey, are you seriously going to go through the process and watch the game? Like, the Niners are about to lose. And she's like, I don't have time for that right now. I'm focused and I'm doing my thing with my business. I don't have time for that. And I'm just like, kudos to you, honey. I'm over here editing like this week's YouTube episode and watching the game at the same time, put that on the Insta story. And uh, I was curious for like the Niners, but today I'm like, whatever, say la vie, it is what it is. So I gotta go, I gotta call Reds back. Uh, just dropped off Baby J. Please hit the like button, hit the notification button, subscribe, comment below with 2020 is your year to win the next $100. And I'm gonna go ahead and call Reds, check out this week's YouTube episode, and just to do some self-reflection. Pain plus reflection equals growth. Something to take in consideration, it's just, game.